So this cute little full plant that I have here is called Jebeum dispar, and it's a mesem, so it's related to lithops. And if you can't see, I actually have this, this is a cash po right here. So this beautiful vintage planter that I have here is a little cash po, so it's a decorative planter. And I actually have this in a terracotta pot on the inside. And part of the reason for that is that this plant is intensely sensitive to overwatering. So you really want to underwater this plant and pretty much not water this plant. So the things that like I've found with mesems, at least growing them indoors in my environment, is that the little that you water the plant, probably the better. Because if you have a tendency to, to overwater, or even if you just like get it on its leaves and it just kind of has no airflow, um, these plants will actually turn to mush. I actually see this one right here is looking a little um, uh, sad. Um, you can't probably can't see it. It's not that bad, but it's a little on the mushy side. So what you want to be really mindful of is just being able to get just along the edges of here, getting a little bit of water in, especially during um, you know the the summer season. But as soon as the winter starts to hit and they're not really growing all that much, then you just want to pretty much withhold watering altogether or just water it just a, a little bit. Um, these could take full sun conditions, um, also high kind of direct, high indirect light as well. Um, if you put it too much, I think, in the shade, then you're not going to get really any kind of growth on it whatsoever. They do have a tendency to, as you could see here, kind of fill out the space. So they start to put off these like little offsets um, now and again. And if you give them a low wide container bowl, then that's probably going to be great for them. I actually didn't say where these are native to, but it is from a kind of South Africa area. And, uh, and these will kind of like, can dry out and die back, but then put out some new ones. And you could see some new plants that are kind of coming up between these two leaflets right here. So again, very similar to lithops in that kind of sense, but, um, but a little bit different from, from them as well. So um, what else can I say? I haven't had any pest pressures with this plant. I've had this for about less than a year. And again, it's like one of those ones that you just have to be very careful with. Like, you know, one bad watering will just screw the whole thing. And I've ha actually been on that side of the plants where I'm just like, oh, I recently just lost one, actually one that I highlighted on 365 days of plants. And I just watered it at night, kind of put it on its stem and didn't have any airflow, just like got really mushy and um, got, you know, the black came down with the black mold, the black plague, and um, and the plant was gone. Uh, it was just like so sad, but it's a good learning experience and it's one that I'm gonna be putting into the houseplant masterclass so that people could learn from these things and be able to identify um, some of the symptoms of overwatering. But anyway, so this is a beautiful little plant um, in a beautiful little planter. And if you wanna try your hand at some of those mesems, um, like that are similar to lithops, then this is a, a good one to try, but one to have to be very careful with. <laughs>